Your Honor, if I may, the other – the concern we have is we just found out, you know, two or three days ago that uh, Ethan Crumbly's trial was moved to January. And – Yes, why do I care? Because we need him as a witness in this trial. Even if he gets up there and has to plead the fifth, he yeah, is – He can't – He has a fifth member of rights. He can't take the fifth in front of the jury. Well, he can – he can answer questions that are not covered by the Fifth Amendment. So we can call him as a witness, and I just I, – I'm just thinking that if his trial is scheduled after, I suppose he'll still plead the fifth, so. I, I cannot conceive of the possibility of how the defendant's son would be able to testify in this case. I, I don't know. I've been – I guess I've been wondering about that all week, whether he's going to testify. Is he going to testify? We're going to call him. We, we need him to testify to information not related to his actual shootings, but – related to extraneous matters that are important in the case. So I guess I'm just, as an offer of proof, they want to call their son to, to, to somehow diminish, highlight his role instead of his parents. I'm just not sure how that's relevant. No, Your Honor, they, that's they not. Right to call, they have a right to call him, right? But he can't take the Fifth Amendment in front of the jury, right? So. Right, so there are certain questions we would just not be able to ask. We, we do understand that. We, we have other questions we need to ask. And this is not about the defendants wanting to throw their son under the bus or make him look bad. This is about our clients defending the case. I, I understand. Okay. I do. I do. And when the prosecution criticizes the defense for being selfish in wanting to defend the case, we are going to be selfish all day. Okay. We agree because okay. selfishly we have to protect their rights. I understand. I mean, that's... Okay, so are you suggesting to me there's no way this is going in October? Is that what you're, you're telling Your Honor, me? I don't know that it can go in, in October. And I, I think that if we're all being honest with ourselves... Is for an adjournment? I mean, maybe you should put that in writing. I, you know, I, I certainly... I, I'm very cognizant that both of your clients are sitting in jail. And I'm very concerned about that. And I want to give them a speedy trial. Um, I also... I don't know that I can end the suffering of the victims in this, in this case, but... The longer it goes out, on and on. Your Honor, I, I don't mean to interrupt the court, but I think we have to at least acknowledge, and there are lawyers on our team that have personally appeared in, in the shooter's case. And by the way, this court has agreed to set, and there was a stipulation not to use his name. Mm -hmm. However, the court, the, in that case, I believe his attorney and the court have expressed an interest to have his case tried after this one. And so I think we just... I just wanted to make sure the court's aware of that and, and defense counsel because if their position is they want this tried after, you know, we have a problem. So I, we're ready to go whenever the whenever you set the, the trial. But okay, well, I'm I'm ready to go on October 24th. I have been in contact with Judge Lowe because there there are obviously concerns. I did wonder when reading this, these motions if it was off or not because you uh, might be calling the shooter, but. Um, <coughs> You, you can you can bring any motion you need to on behalf of your clients, and I expect you to do exactly what you said to um, represent your clients to the fullest. Thank you, Judge. Thank, Thank you, Your Honor.